Hi, I'm Bob Bailey with Ontario Outdoors Magazine and I'm the waterfowl editor. I'm also a waterfowl biologist and I work with Delta Waterfowl. I've been hunting for I think well over 40 years. What I want to demonstrate to you is the duck calls that we talked about in the uh, recent column in Ontario Out of Doors magazines on calling mallards and black ducks. What I have here is an array of calls. They're not really expensive calls. When you work at calling you can develop calls that sound sufficiently like waterfowl even without the higher end calls. I do like the high end calls. These are sort of the middle middle class kind of calls but uh, I think you work a little bit harder with them and you learn a lot more by calling using them. Anyway the four calls that I want to demonstrate are the decrescendo call which is made by the female mallard or black duck, the feeding chuckle uh, which is also a female call, the quack which is a female call as well and the drake's quack which is not really a quack biologists call it a rab call, it's kind of a raspy call. Some people call it a, uh, a whistle, but it's not really a whistle. There is a whistle that the mallard makes, but we're not going to be doing that. That's a courtship call that we seldom see up here. I'll start out by demonstrating the decrescendo call. Uh, this call is made by the hen mallard to advertise her presence to other mallards. Now, uh, that call is modified in calling competitions. When the birds are fall, far off, they mo modify the decrescendo call to um, be a little bit louder and to each note is a little bit longer and they call that the hail call. So I'll give you a shot of that on, this, um, on a different call. So that's the, that is the hail call, it's actually a decrescendo. When the birds are in closer, go back to the decrescendo call. If it's early in the morning and the birds are not too far from you, go to the decrescendo call, which is like this. Some of the hens will make an abbreviated call at times, abbreviated decrescendo call at times in the fall, which is also useful to know, and it's kind of like this. Don't worry too much about how you feel when you're making this call because I can tell you from sitting out there, there are some ducks that call in such a way that one would believe that they don't know how to call but like a duck does. Now moving along to the quack. The quack is important. It's done by the hen, the female mallard and black duck quack and it's kind of a contact call. It also reflects kind of her mood, like if she has a mood for company or contentment or alarm. The uh, quack that we normally use and you hear in calling competitions is more sort of along a uh, uh, I'm over here buddy come on over and see me kind of call uh, and uh, it's a little bit more aggressive and it can also be, it's a bit tricky because it can also be used as an alarm call so you've got to watch for that. But anyway the hen quack, female mallard or black duck is like this. <coughs> Make sure that when you're calling like this you move back and forth as well to spread the calling out, make it sound like it's coming from different directions, call behind you. Now the um, sort of more aggravated call that will get their attention is <coughs> and I know some of you are saying well what's he doing? Well what I'm doing is I'm grunting into this call and you can say wick or you can say quack or whack or some variation. Listen to the ducks out there and try to develop your own word that you might use. Bring the grunt from your chest right up into the call so it sounds like this. Now this call, the quack goes into the feeding chuckle and anybody who's attended uh, calling competitions are very familiar with this. The feeding chuckle, as I said in the column, is not really a feeding chuckle. It's actually an inciting call where the hen is trying to get her drake to push another drake away who is getting too close to her. And it sounds like this. We'll start with the quacks though and then we'll move into the chuckle. <coughs> The 
that's the feeding chuckle, but it's actually an inciting call. I don't find it that effective because um, basically the hen is saying, get out of here kind of thing. So I use that fairly sparingly while I'm hunting. And um, the final call we don't use, I don't have a call for. It's the drake call and it's a rab call. And once again, there's a lot of variation in it, but it sounds basically like this. <laughs> and it'll vary. You'll notice that the drakes, all the ducks can identify each other and what that means is that the ducks recognize each other through sight and through the sounds. So their voices are different enough just like human beings are so that they can recognize the voice of another duck that they know or one of their offspring or one of their siblings. So the if the call varies, that's very natural because they're all different in the wild as well. So that drake call, once again, we call it the rab, rab call. It's really the mallard drake quack. It's very distinctive, very raspy, and it goes like this. And if you use that call when the birds are close but not yet in range, especially on lone drakes, uh, it can be very effective. So if he's circling uh, and he's thinking about coming in but not quite ready to come in, you don't want to blast him with a decrescendo because all of a sudden you go, whoa, what's that? I didn't know there was a hen here. But he knew there was another drake there and they like the company of another bird. You'll often see two drake mallards together, two or three. They really like the company of their buddies if there aren't any hens around. So don't surprise them. Just use that call nice and quietly, especially early in the morning. Mm -hmm.